What's up, Nintendo Gamers? The Kid here with a spectacularly big Wii U update. Oh my god, I do not know how long this uh, video is going to be, guys. So, there is so much information out there that it's pretty ridiculous. So, I'm going to try to get this all in. But if it ends up being like a 30-minute video, well, I mean... It's for a reason. So, the Wii U was shown at E3, and yes, I did say I was going to incorporate my impressions on the E3 conference from Nintendo. So, let's start with that first, and then we'll get to all the juicy good news that we heard about the Wii U and the titles coming out and other information about those titles. So, about Nintendo's conference, I am sort of like everybody else. I was a little bit over uh, not over but underwhelmed by their their conference for one nintendo kind of dropped the ball on this one um for this the wii u launch titles um yes we they showed us pikmin 3 they showed us new super mario brothers u which looks both looks very uh very good very spectacular but other than that really I was, that was all that really excited me. I mean, there were some other titles that excited me, like Assassin's Creed 3 and how it worked, but they didn't show that during that. I had to find that out actually after the uh, conference. Um, so why did they try to bundle all this in in a one-hour conference? I don't know. Was there something stopping them from having a two-hour conference? That would have been more appropriate. But they did say they will reveal more during uh, the passing months, you know, in the future. But I was just underwhelmed. Um, I mean, I thought there was going to be more launch titles, you know, first party. I mean, so far we got three. Uh, Nintendo Land, which looks cool. It looks really good. Um, that that looks really cool. We got Pikmin 3. We got Super Mario Bros. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. Uh, U, which actually looks different than the other Super Mario Bros. For once, I mean, it looks like they they had they have a lot of new ideas, and from what um, others have said, it looks way different from what uh, Super Mario Bros. Wii looked like. So, the launch titles for the Wii U look cool. Okay, they're first party, so that's good, but. Where was Star Fox? Where was F Zero? Uh, what is Retro Studios working on? Where was any real news? I mean, we would promise a mind blowing E three conference, and most of the time we just got things that we already knew about. Um, for this Batman Arkham City, okay, Armored Edition. Uh, all right, that's cool and all, but come on, we knew about that. What about things we didn't know about? Okay, Nintendo Land. Okay, that was the only launch title and first party game we actually didn't know about. But they did um, talk about, they did announce after their 83 conference um, about uh, Game and Wario, which is a new WarioWare game. Um, and that's coming to the Wii U, um, slated for launch. But why didn't you say anything about that? I mean, that would have hyped a lot of people up more. I mean, why wait till the conference to say something? And I know it was about software. They showed software. But the thing is, they only showed a lot of software we already knew about. So why didn't they show anything new? Um, other than Pikmin 3 and Nintendo Land. Um uh, and again, Pikmin three and New Super Mario Bros. U. We knew we both were we all were expecting those to be shown. I was expecting more. I just think they dropped the ball with it a little bit, and uh, it was just underwhelming. But as far as the Wii U, those are my impressions again. But far as Wii U news, let's get to that now. The Wii U specs have officially been announced, um, and they are at the the Nintendo site. Uh, where you can see. So I'm going to read it out to you guys now. And please don't quiz me um, in the comments after this video. 
what the specs mean because I am not a tech spec nerd. I have no idea what these things uh, mean. I, I mean, I know some things, but uh, far as that, if any of you guys know specs and tech like uh, that are in consoles, computers, please tell me in a very detailed and very simple way what it actually means. So, um, here we go. So, the Wii U will come both in white and black, but black will come later, says Nintendo. So, that sucks. Um, I don't know why they were showing it so much, but that sucks. But I guess it makes sense because people will want the black one more than the white one. But I don't care what color. I mean, maybe if my Wii U broke or something, I would get black eventually. So, basically, here is the specs. Um, the C, uh, the CPU, it says IBM-powered base multi-core processor, GPU, AMD, uh, Radeon base high definition GPU storage. Wii U users uses an internal flash memory. It also supports SD memory cards and external USB storage media. Wii U and Wii optical discs. Uh, networking. Wii U can access the internet via wireless. I don't know. Uh, I E E E. Eight uh, eight hundred and zero point uh, eleven B slash G slash N connection. See l l things like that. I just uh, I'm up in the air with that. The console features four USB two point oh uh, connectors, two in the front and two in the rear. That supports we uh, we LAN adapters. So that's really nice. Uh, for the USB ports. Wii compatibility. Nearly all Wii software and accessories can be used with Wii U. Audio output. Uses six channel PCM linear output via HDMI connector or analog output via the AV multi out connector. Video output, and this is the real big news right here, supports 1080p, 1080i, 720p, 480p, and 480i compatible cables, including HDMI, Wii D terminal, Wii component video, Wii RGB, Wii S video, stereo AV, and Wii AV. So that is the big thing right there is the 1080p. It does support 1080p. So games will uh, be in 1080p, but could I be wrong? If there's anyone out there that think that it just means that, they, that the cable support, or does that mean that it, the games will actually be in 1080p where they look real time. I think so. And I don't think any other console actually can do that. I think that's on, they only have 720p. So correct me if I'm wrong. So the Wii U features Miiverse. Uh, Miiverse is a brand new network communication system that lets gamers from around the world share uh, experiences, discuss games, and discover new content using their personalized me character. Players enter Miiverse and see games, applications, or entertainment content that either they have interacted with uh, recently express interest in learning more about or that their friends are using or discussing. From here, they can challenge their friends to play together, ask the question about a difficult level or discover new elements of their favorite games they never knew existed. After a notable achievement or other share-worthy moment, players can pause their games or application and seamlessly post messages to the Miiverse community. You see that awesome reading right there? That's how you do it. So that we already knew about. Now the TV remote, the Wii U gamepad controller may also function as an uh, infrared TV remote, whether users are watching TV or playing a game. So we knew about that. Near field communication. The Wii U gamepad has the ability to communicate wirelessly with objects that are held above it. 
This allows for a variety of interesting new possibilities for games and activities. Nintendo eShop. Now, this is the, uh, the um, what's it called? Uh, I don't know. The Nintendo Store, basically. The digital storefront for the Wii U will be available at launch and offer a variety of content for people to download and enjoy. Consumers will also be able to purchase and download select games that are also available at retail stores. We knew about that. So you can buy retail games um, wirelessly, download them, or you can physically buy them at the store. Video entertainment. Nintendo is working with Netflix, Hulu Plus, Amazon Instant Video, and YouTube to bring video experiences to the Wii U that will take advantage of the integrated second screen experience. Um, additional details will be released at, at a later time. Video chat. Using the built-in camera, the Wii U gamepad, people can communicate with other Wii U owners in real time. Internet Bowser. Oh my God, did I just say Bowser? I meant browser. Wii U comes with a browser that lets people with a wireless internet connection surf the internet from the comfort of their couches. So, um, those are uh, those are that. I'm going to talk about some other things. Other controllers. The Wii U console is capable of supporting two Wii U gamepad controllers. That is confirmed. It can uh, use uh, two game Wii U gamepads. So, that is confirmed, guys. Up to four Wii remotes um, and Wii Remote Plus controllers uh, or Wii U Pro controllers. Um, so it can support up to four Wii remotes or Wii Remote Plus remotes and uh, uh, Wii U Pro controllers. Uh, so And that also comes in black and white, the, the Pro controllers. And the Wii accessories such as the Nunchuck Classic Controller and the Wii Balance Board. So that's pretty cool, guys. Um, the Wii U Gamepad. The Wii U Gamepad controller removes the traditional barriers between games, players, and the TV by creating a second window into the video game world. It incorporates a 6.2 inch, 16 by 9 aspect ratio LCD touchscreen, as well as a traditional button controls. Um, and two analog sticks. Inputs include a plus control pad, L slash R sticks, L slash R stick buttons, X, B, X, Y buttons, L slash R buttons. How many times did they just say that? I mean, okay. Um, ZL slash ZR buttons, power button, home button, select uh minus select button and plus start button and tv control button the gamepad also includes motion controls powered by an accelerometer and gyroscope um and uh gyro geomagnetic si sensor i don't know if i said that right a front facing camera a microphone stereo speakers rumble feature a sensor bar and included stylus and supports for near field communication functionality. It is powered by a rechar rechargeable lithium ion battery and weighs approximately 1.1 pounds. So that that's all about the Wii U gamepad. And as for the size, approximately 1.8 inches high, this is the console, approximately 1.8 inches high and 10.5 inches deep and 6.8 inches long. Um, the weight is approximately 3.41 pounds. So it is a pretty light console for all it packs. So like I said, I don't know everything about this stuff. So if there is any type of tech whiz that is subscribed to me, could you please explain this? And also, I have a link to everything in the description for you guys to see uh, yourself. So, so if you guys could please tell me, um, like, what this means. Is it more powerful than the the Xbox 360 and or PS3 in any way? Or is it just about on par? Or is it just a little bit 
up more. So just tell me that. And also, when I give you guys the link to this, um, it will be from the Nintendo All Access E3 uh, page. So you have to 